roller coasters. These are the things that everyone's supposed to love. Theme parks, the amusement park. That's why they literally call them amusement park. It's all about fun. But these things were actually about nightmares for me. For as long as I could remember, I hated roller coasters. Just thinking about a roller coaster made me feel anxious in my stomach, a pit. I would just feel sick. I would start getting short breathing and I, I just could never get on rides after I had a really bad experience as a child. I spent years, even all the way through high school, lying, coming up with lies to avoid events where people are like, hey, we're all going to Cedar Point. Miss Sean, you should come with us. I'm like, hey, yeah, my dog died. They're like, yo, you don't even have a dog. Well, I spent so much time making up lies like these just so I didn't have to be in that environment, in that space, because it's not cool to say, well, I'm scared of roller coasters. I'm like, oh, they're like, nope, okay, peace. You watch the baby. And so now you're watching somebody's random baby instead of having the time of your life with your friends and your family. So I want to share with you something that my wife and I created because when we met, she was a ride warrior. She loved roller coasters and she wanted me to share that experience with her instead of just sitting next to her mom and watching her nieces and nephews that I didn't even know. Roller coaster Jedi training. And it took me from powering through Goofy's Barnstormer, one of the smallest rides at Disney World, to powering through the Velocicoaster and not actually powering through, but actually having fun. Today, I can proudly say that I've ridden Hulk, Velocicoaster, Mummy, Guardians of the Galaxy at Disneyland, all of these huge rides that I never thought was possible. Talking to my friends who see me today, they can't even believe that I've actually ridden these rides until I show them the photos. They're like, yo, dude, this isn't even you. I remember you wouldn't even walk in the amusement park, let alone get on one of the biggest rides there. So whether you're preparing to go somewhere or you're already at the place, you can start working through it so you can get past this and not have to worry about roller coasters being one of the fears in your life. I will say that all of these build on top of each other. So you have to watch all the way to the end to see how these all interact and connect to get the full picture. And there's a lot of people who say, hey, try Lama's breathing or try this, specific technique and, and all these different tactics, but I never got to the point where I actually enjoyed riding the ride. Like being on the ride the whole time going, that's not a good experience. You look crazy. And then there's like a four-year-old next to you like, what? Like, what is the difference between me, the 27-year-old, and the four-year-old next to me who's actually enjoying this roller coaster right now? First step is create the ringing. There are studies that show when we don't know something, we fear it. Like, if you've never seen a certain type of person before, or you live in a certain neighborhood, and then you go to a different neighborhood, you might be like, oh my gosh, there's literally a video of a kid in Africa who saw a white person for the first time and thought they were a ghost. This is the same thing that can happen to us with roller coasters. When you're thinking about getting on a roller coaster, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. And so when I would get on something like the mummy and my wife says, oh, that's not that bad. And then we get on and I am freaking out. It's because I didn't have clarity on what I was getting myself into. So the ranking system puts all of that aside. You have someone with you who loves rides, which most of us already do. And you get them to rank the ride in difficulty on a scale of one to 10. One being something like Goofy's Barnstormer and 10 being something like Velocicoaster at Universal Studios. Once you have this ranking system, you are then able to work your way up from a level one to a level 10. What often happened to me is I would come in to a ride being like, oh, okay, this is probably gonna be a level two and then being a level eight or, oh, wow, that looks like a level 10. And then you get on and you're like, oh, this is only a level three. I could do this. You actually need to start at level one. If you are tense like this on Goofy's Barnstormer, you are not ready for the mummy. If you're tense like this on the mummy, then you're not ready for a Velocicoaster. The first way to know if you're ready for anything is to have a clear idea of what the progression is. I can tell you any ride at Disney World and what score it is on the spring system. I can tell you, okay, Goofy's Barnstormer is like a one out of 10. Tron, the new ride, that's probably like a six out of 10. Like once you have an idea of how this works, you'll be able to say no and yes accordingly. So going on to step two. So once you have that ranking system, you've been able to have someone who will tell you, hey, one out of 10, three out of 10, five out of 10, 10 out of 10, etc. You have to be able to surrender to the ride. This idea changed everything for me because there's all these different breathing techniques and all these different things, but what they're really trying to get you to do is surrender to the ride. What I found is I have an excessive need for control. So when I get tense, I'm actually trying to take control of the experience. I'm trying to tense myself so the ride doesn't catch me off guard. But what I noticed is when I was able to relax and let myself be scared, let myself feel the drop. I don't do it perfectly, but when I let myself be whipped around the corner and drop down and just scream instead of tensing up, I was able to have a lot more fun and enjoy the ride a lot easier. I wouldn't get off the ride in pain. I would instead get off feeling good and limbo and nimble, right? Let the ride take you where it's going to take you. If you try to control where you're going, you will never make it through the experience. You are going to be tense on Goofy's Barnstormer. You relax, 
into the seat. When you're getting on, you relax your whole body. Being able to have experience with like meditation really helped me. You surrender to the ride and you let yourself flow. And that's why it's so important that you start at the easier levels because you will be able to get more comfortable. I had to ride Goofy's Barnstormer like five times before I felt comfortable being able to go up a level. Because once you are fully surrendered to the ride and you see what that feels like on an easier level and you go up one notch, you'll be able to be like, oh, this is, this is the gap. I know what I need to work on. That's the first two steps. You are ready to move on to the next stage. And that is to say no. Then the, the other thing that I really struggled with for a long time was saying no when I didn't understand the reason I was saying no. So often I would say no to rides simply because I hated every single ride. But once you have a system in place and you have your uh, surrendering to the ride in place, you'll be able to say no to riding a specific ride because you know you're not ready. I can say with confidence, I'm not ready for Tower of Terror. I couldn't handle the Von Doom ride, which only drops once. This drops like eight times. I'm not ready. So you can say with confidence, no, because what happens is if you get on a ride and you're not ready, then you get burned and you won't want to ride rides for the rest of the day. You get tense and, and all these different things and you feel this, this emotional breakdown and you're like, oh, I hate rides. But if you take it methodically and you say, hey, look, I need to warm up. That might even be your thing too. You arrive to the park and you're like, hey guys, uh, if you don't mind, I need to warm up on this ride and that ride before I try this bigger ride. Going straight for a new ride, it's just going to ruin your experience. That is the Roller Coaster Jedi training. It's creating a ranking system, understanding where you are within that ranking system, learning how to surrender to the ride sequentially, starting from that level of where you're at and slowly working your way up, which really helps when you have an ally, someone who's willing to give you an accurate picture of what the ride is like. And then finally, being able to say no confidently because you know that you are not ready for the next stage if this was helpful to you please let me know this is how i spent years of my life being terrified of rides on the sidelines to now riding rides and being able to go to the best amusement parks and actually have fun if this brought you value i would really appreciate some feedback and i will see you in the next video